Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Champion Slot Machine. I'm your host, Fizzledrix, and with me, as always, is my Twitch community. And we're going to do what we usually do on this uh, series. We're going to roll our slot bot here. He's going to tell us two regions and two champions, and we're going to use that to build a deck in Runeterra. We're going to go over what the champions do, the different strategies we play with them, and then the individual cards that go in the deck. And then we're going to take it onto Master's Rank Ladder and see if we can get some wins. I'm excited to see what we get today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hit this. Oh, wait, but before I do, quick reminder, hit the like button if you enjoy what you see. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. I'd really appreciate it. I'm real low on both. Everyone makes me happy. I read every comment that you post. So uh, thanks to anybody who contributes. And uh, without further ado, let's see what deck we get today. All right. Okay, we were just playing those regions. Nothing gets between me and my Scouts. Mom. Scout Shirima. Scores to settle, crooks to kill. You know how it is. <laughs> we're going to play Akshan Quinn. This is a fascinating combination. Hmm. So, <laughs> I guess we might be building scouts. And we probably want some self-targeting stuff. I don't think that they're really antithetical to each other. I just, I'm not sure where the build will go. So let's go ahead and head over to Legends of Runeterra. We'll talk about the champions, what they do, and we'll talk about what strategies they go. Well, now that we're in Legends of Runeterra, let's go ahead and look at these champs, see what they say. So the first one is Akshan. He's a two mana, two, two with quick attack, which means he strikes before his blocker. And he says, when I'm summoned or strikes, Create summon a warlord's palace, which is this landmark right here, or advance it one round. And so what the warlord palace is, is just a landmark with countdown eight, which is pretty long, but he helps lower it. And it says create a relic of power in hand. And it says when you've targeted allies, advance me one round. So you can advance this by striking with Akshan or by targeting with any of your creatures. And when it is finally pops, it gives you Relic of Power, which allows you to, it's a fleeting focus speed spell. So uh, it allows you to predict, draw one, sum, or summon, predict, then draw one, summon a Sandstone Charger, or Grand All Allies plus one plus oh. Most of the time, you're usually using it to grab a prediction, although sometimes the Sandstone Charger can be used. And that's a 5-2 with, a 2-mana 5-2 with Ephemeral, in case you forgot or didn't know. Uh, and then Akshan also will level up once that Warlord's Palace goes up, and he will become a 3-3. And he says the exact same thing, but instead of the Warlord's Palace, it's the Warlord's Horde, which is the exact same thing, except that when it finishes, it gets, it becomes the Sentinel's Horde. And the Sentinel's Horde allows you to cast one of these three spells, the Absolver Resurrection, the Absolver's Resurrection, a Font of Power, or Shield of Sentinels. And uh, Absolver's Resurrection grants all enemies vulnerable and creates a zero-cost copy of the strongest ally that died this game. Can be useful in a blowout, but was one of the least picked options. Fount of Power is pretty strong in almost any situation and is your go-to if you have nothing going else going on. It just draws you two cards and all your cards cost one less this round. It's a pretty powerful effect. And then the last one, also very powerful in some situations, is you can give your champions plus two, plus two, and spell shield. All of your champions everywhere. And that is Akshan in a nutshell. He mostly just focuses around targeting allies, creating these landmarks, and destroying them. His champion spell is a three mana slow speed spell that says an ally you've targeted this round strikes an enemy. And it doesn't strike back, so that is pretty nice, but having to target it preemptively does limit the effectiveness of this spell, and often it's just used as a champion spell, not put in the main deck. And then... We have Quinn. Quinn is a 5-mana 3-5 with Scout, and she says, when I'm summoned, summon Valor. Which, Valor is a 2-1 with Challenger and Scout. And Scout means that the first time you attack with only Scouts, you regain your attack token. And she said, and she her level up condition is, I've seen you attack four plus, four times. Which is not easy to do. It's one of the more difficult level up conditions to get. But when you do, she gets plus one, plus one. And every time she attacks, she summons a Valor, challenging the strongest enemy automatically. 
can be a very powerful win condition if you manage to pull off her ability of seeing you attack four times, which is usually why she's played in the scouts deck where there's multiple scout units and she can see that multiple attacks fairly quickly. She's usually played with Miss Fortune who also cares about attacking four times. And uh, her champion spell is Blinding Assault, which summons a Valor for slow speed at two mana. And so that is our two champion. Those are our two champions, English. Ugh. And so now we have to talk about building a concept around these two. First things that come to mind, obviously, when we play Akshan, I want to play the Kurin Vagabond. The Kurin Vagabond. I spelled it wrong. The reason why I say this card is because it is the only other card than Akshan that creates a Warlord's Palace. So if you don't get a Warlord, if you don't get an Akshan, you can still play this on three and start your Warlord's Palace counting down. Speed run Akshan? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, like a speed runny, scouty Akshan deck. Who knows? Uh, I'm excited to see where we go from here. Um, so this card's pretty much good because when it's summoned, it creates a Warlord Palace, or if there's already one in play, you advance it two rounds, and it's a three mana, three, three. Solid card. Most Akshan decks run this, so I'm fairly comfortable just slapping it into the deck immediately. Other than that, I don't really have any concrete options to go. We should probably look at Scouts since we are playing... Uh, since we're playing Quinn. Uh, one of the scouts obviously is Blinding Assault. We could play this main board. We we might. It's very possible. Um, field Promotion gives something scout and makes it an elite at two mana burst speed. It's probably not good enough. There's usually a specific card combination you're trying to push with this. And I don't really see it really working with what we have here. Green Fang Warden's a decent unit and that has barrier and scout. But it is three mana for a two two which is just really bad and we're not really taking advantage of the elite keyword so i'm not really sold on him either size scout isn't a real scout but funny that it is in shirima which is our secondary reach yodel ranger is a four mana three one with scout last breath summon a loyal badger bear this is a very good card just in general and honestly probably sees this list not only because it's a good scout but just a, a Unit that gives you two different bodies is just fairly solid, and we don't really have a four drop yet, so we're probably playing it. Great Horn Companion is a five mana five five with Scout. It's okay. You know, it's not bad. I think you want more out of a five drop, but if we really need it, like we already have Quinn, so I don't think we really want to run Great Horn Companion. Ardent Tracker is a six mana three five elite. A Scout that says when you summon an elite, reduce my cost by one. We're not playing elites, so we're not playing that card. Genevieve Elf Elmhart is a challenger scout. When I'm seven, give other allies plus one, plus one this round. This card is a staple in almost every scout deck and is so good with Quinn that I see it hard to not put in this deck. Yordle Rangers, six mana, three, five, six mana, five, five, sorry. Yordle from Demacia and Vandal City has scout and attack all, grant all allies equal less power than me, plus zero, plus one. Which is pretty much the whole deck. No one else has really five power other than Genevieve. And actually, she buffs other allies, so if she came in after him, she would buff. Once again, I don't think what? we want too many we big... Best friends. Yep. Bam Jumi, thank you, my friend. I appreciate the follow. Hey, welcome to the stream, man. Most known for doing this, Champion Slot Machine, where we just roll two random champions and we try to build the most competitive deck out of it. So thanks for joining us. Uh, so once again, I don't think we want uh, Yordle Ranger just because even though it is uh, has an okay effect, it's it's six mana and we don't want to be competing with Genevieve. And I think Genevieve is probably near our top end. Yo, yo to you too, my friend. Thank you. Uh, Jarvan 4, we're not playing Jarvan, so no. And then Stalking Broodmother at seven mana is probably the highest mana cost I would conceive of playing a scout but i don't think it really makes the cut i think blinding assault is okay as well um because there are going to be some times when you're going to have extra spell mana and you can play quinn but you can't attack with her because of whatever reason and you might be able to play a blinding assault to get a second valor and make that attack happen or you swing with the first valor twice it dies or you swing with the first valor it dies you swing with one of your other units and then you play Blinding Assault afterwards and continue. 
Um, so this is all I think I want from the scouts package. Some more of this, maybe if we really are desperate for another scout trigger, but we don't want, that's all we're gonna get from that. Rally? Yeah, no, I think rally is a great option. So obviously we have some rally options. Can't play any of these champions. Golden Aegis is the best rally spell in the game. Four mana slow, give an ally barrier this round and rally. We're probably playing this. Honestly, I'm gonna say definitely because not only is it just really powerful in Demacia, it works amazingly if you can manage to play it and Genevieve in the same turn because you can just if you need to play this on your opponent's turn, you can use it. Like, there's just a lot of good you can do with this card. And if those of you who don't know, if you have a unit with Scout, Rally, and attack first on your opponent's turn, you gain the attack token back and can then attack with all of your other units. So it's like gaining an extra attack token, just rallying with a Scout unit. And so, very effective with the Golden Aegis. Another card that also does a similar trick is Cataclysm, but I don't think that we're going to be running it. I don't know that we want enough that much rally that we'll be playing Relentless Pursuit, so I don't think we go with that. It's the same thing, but just plus one, plus one. I'm not too good on it. Why do you need so many building Blinding Assault for two mana? Well, I'm not really sure, but I was just thinking it's a decent uh, card to control the board, and there might be some situations in which Quinn wants to see it attack, even though she can't, and it's a scout for that. I mean, we can cut it later, but right now we're at so few cards. What I like to do usually is consider the cards, like think about the cards I'm gonna consider, just throw them in there. Sometimes I'm at like 45 to 50 cards, or sometimes I'm at less than 40. And then I go through and trim it as needed. And so there might not be any Blinding Assault by the end of this, but for now I'm considering it. I don't really want anything else here. It seems like we're a pretty aggressive deck. This might be one of those few decks where we actually use Grant Allies plus one plus O power, but we'll see. We're playing Demacia, so we play Shapes, Sharp Sight, right? You don't really need to debate this. Sharp Sight's just amazing. It goes into every single Demacia deck, no question. Rally is good. You might want to be cautious with the number of each card. Oh yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of trimming. Don't worry. I just put in three copies just to, and then we'll go through. We'll trim. We'll look at stuff that we don't like and go from there. Um, single combat is another staple of Demacia's fast speed spell. An ally and an enemy strike each other. Not sure if it's gonna work here. It doesn't usually get played a lot in scouts because they're trying to be more aggressive than, and their units don't usually survive that uh, combat with another unit because it will affect the draw quality. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We'll, we'll definitely trim down for sure. Yep. So sharp sight's a must. Single combat's a possible. I think this is the type of deck that really benefits from uh, Ranger's Resolve, right? One mana burst, give all allies tough this round. I think we want to run like two of these, maybe. This one I kind of already go ahead when I when I I don't think I want all three, so I'm just not gonna. Act. I don't think there's a world in which I want all three, so I'm not going to. Um, maybe we want to play some Treasure Seeker. This card's just good. It doesn't really fit in our like self-targeting game plan. Maybe I mean we are, we probably should be playing Shapestone, right? If you're playing Akshan, you should be playing Shapestone. One mana burst, give an ally plus two plus one this round. If you summon a landmark this game, plus two plus one instead. Decent card, good with Akshan. He always brings a landmark with him. Vikora Bagabon. We might also be playing Preservarium in this deck. So there's a decent chance we'll get landmark. So this is a really good uh this is a really good combat trick. Treasure Seeker is the best one drop. Yeah, I mean, it is just the best one drop in the game, right? I mean, another debate for really good one drop is this guy, right? The Fleet Feather Tracker. One mana, two, one, you summon an ally, grant me challenger. This could be pretty decent. We could use this. We could use the old Demacia stable, right? Fleet Feather Tracker plus, uh, you know, the, um, the Bright Steel Protector. Two mana, three, two, give an ally barrier this round. These two are pretty legit together it creates a free card yeah not just a free card one that's really good at killing opponents units that have vulnerable right one of the best things that it works with is when you give things vulnerable and you just like two mana removal it's nuts <clears throat> coming off a of one drop we don't have the same kind of synergy here but what we do have is some challengers and they might actually allow us to get that five power through so that might be two mana five damage sometimes in this deck 
I kind of like Fleet Feather Tracker and the Blight Steel combo, so we're going to put those in. And then we're going to go ahead and put in, as you said, best one dot drop in the game. And for those of you who don't know, Treasure Seeker is a 1 mana 2 1. When a summon creates a Waking Eight Sands, which is a 5 2 mana spell, slow, the summon Sandstone Charger, which is a 5 2 ephemeral. All right, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Ancient Hourglass is a good way to protect some of our champions. Maybe we play Ancient Hourglass. I'm going to just put two in right now just to consider it. It obliterates an ally to replace it with a station statue, and it stores the ally inside, and after countdown one, the unit comes back. So not only is it a target for Akshan, but it could also save somebody. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that jumps out at me that we should play in this deck. We might want to consider Rock Hopper if we're playing the um treasure seeker just because the two of them work really well together and that would create an interesting scenario where we have like tr fleet feather tracker and treasure seeker being comboed with bright steel protector and rock hopper so we've got these like but they don't do they really combo well together i don't really think so right because if you give something vulnerable you don't need the fleet well not too bad right because bright steel protector works with anybody as long as you if you give something vulnerable then yeah no i think that works we could go rock hopper i think we need to spread the board out though right i mean rock hopper's not bad for that we need a little bit more units i think because you know we want a genevieve to finish off which buffs the whole team we're gonna have a few other things we're going to want a wider board when we rally. We might use Akshan's ability to get plus one, plus O to the whole team if we have to. So we really want to be able to go wide. And so let's go ahead. So if we do put in the Rock Hopper, and let's say we put in the Preservarium. Well, no, if we're an aggro deck, we don't want Preservarium, right? We're just trying to punch their face. So let's go ahead and trim a few things. We'll go ahead and trim a Blinding Assault, at least one. Maybe one Genevieve, just because it's six mana. I don't think that's right. Let's just play the one Ranger's Resolve for now, and we'll find out if we're desperate for a second pack. Okay, so this is initially what I'm thinking. Now, the interesting thing about this is these champs don't really require you to build around them, right? Quinn just needs at least another scout, which she provides. And it's just good with things like golden eggs. And Akshan just wants you to protect units. And so we're really just kind of playing Demacia, Sharima, good stuff. We're just playing good cards in these regions. And we're going to use it to try and win. I don't know if there's a lot of other strategies to be delved from these two champions, right? Well, we got five viewers in chat. Is there anything that comes to anybody's mind that might make adjustments, changes, things we should add or take away? I'm totally up to any comments. Like, I'm the type of dude who's a collaborative deck builder. I like when other people get involved, which is one of the reasons why I do this all the time on Twitch. So this is my initial idea. I think it might work. The only other thing I was just thinking about while I was grabbing the water is maybe putting in the Absolver, right? This card could be a really solid win condition. It's ran in most Akshan decks and it's probably something we should really consider. I think I like this over the Blinding Assault. All right, well, let's run this, see how it performs on Masters. The Ranked Ladder. All right, one of the most toxic and horrible decks in the game. Lee Sin Zoe. We don't have a great answers to Lee Sin, do we? We might need like a quicksand in this deck. But we'll see. Um, This hand looks pretty good, to be honest. This hand looks really good. I even like the Shape Stone, because I can use it on Fleet Feather Tracker to kill uh, Eye of the Dragon if need be. So yeah. I'm just going to keep this hand. See if we can turn it into some value. Um, these two work really well together as well, so... We might want to lean more into the, like, the vulnerable strategy than, rather than this, like, uh, challenger idea. But we'll see. Okay, so we got a free two damage. That's fair. He didn't have Zoe. That's good. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. I don't okay, so we can try to kill her. Let's 
So we'll start with this guy, see what he plays. If he plays anything. He's gonna play another one and give it vulnerable. So if I attack, I can get five damage in. He might save his unit. If he saves his unit, he can't play the other one. Or I can just deny him playing the other one this turn and getting a Dragonling next turn. But what's the point in denying him Dragonlings if he hasn't even, like if I haven't even done any damage to him? I think I need to get this thing off the field. And if he wants to give his thing vulnerable for future turns, then that's his call. I think we just go in here and try to get rid of this. Okay, cool, we got one, rid of one of them. That's good, that's really good. Yeah, no surprise. I mean, you're making it vulnerable, though, so I don't know how great an option that is. Alright, so... Yeah, that happens. I'm not gonna stop it. I think I just want to play this. I don't have any spell mana, but... We want to always... We kind of want to bluff that you have spell mana sometimes. Sure. Well, and we can we can still use this to kill her, so that's pretty good. Uh, that's rough. We can't play the Quinn here. All right, we'll just play this guy. Kill off his eye. Oh, okay. I mean, it's your. It doesn't solve the problem. I've got your back. Watch me. This is justice. So I could pull that and get five damage in and it would heal. So uh, this is a one damage difference and I lose my tracker. Nah, nah, not worth it. Sure. Twin disciplines that didn't really amount to much. From absolution. You cannot run from absolution. Alright. We need to clear up some board space, so I'm probably just blocking this here. Just taking it. Taking the blocks. Okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Oh, that's fine. You kill that Akshan. You kill him good. Like I said, I needed the space, board space anyway. So it's fine. We could do a buttload of damage here. No, we can't because it's stupid. Dragonling. Not gonna defend her this time. Where we get rid of some units. Yeah, we make sure we block this, I guess. I don't think it really matters too much, to be honest. Right, it takes eight. Gets his lease in. Are 
don't have an answer to Lee Sin, so he just plays Lee Sin, gets it, vulnerable, gives him overwhelm, and then one other spell. And I don't think we lose, but we're pretty close. Goes to seven. He needs one more buff, which he probably has. So, yeah, I probably lose. I lose here. We're getting Lee Sin kicked. So sad. So sad. He needs plus two. He needs a twin disciplines. Enter your spirit. Okay. That's it. No, nope, that's exactly enough. Exactly lethal. I guess I should have. Ah, uh, feels good to get Lee Sin kicked. God, I'm so tired of Eye of the Dragon. I've been asking for an Eye of the Dragon nerf since the day that card was released. All right, let's try again. Actually, you know, let's let's just so we have an out against Lee Sin. Let's go ahead and put in some quicksand. This way we can actually like look for it. I just don't want to take out. Because I take out a ranger. I still protect her. Put in quicksand. That'll hopefully give us an option against Lee Sin if it's even an op if we fight that again. Dragon Lee. If you can block it, don't take it. Cause Lee Sin kick might be too away from lethal. Wow, Triple Quinn, you really want to get played this game, huh? Maybe we keep one. Is that stupid? I like keeping one. No one drop. Sag. We run six. Did not find one. So we'll start with an action. Unless he doesn't. Well, no, I couldn't get this in for an Ari. That's a bit of a shame. Pretty sure that's not how he spells Predator. But maybe it's because he's a dad. Pre dad. Or. Sure. I get that. I don't know why it took me so long to think about it, but I get it. stick oh there you go we're gonna make some value out of that this is justice I guess there's no point in attacking with this thing so five to face eat it and weep I need board space. I already have a sharp sight for it, but I need board space, so I can't play anything here. Plus, honestly, if I sharp sight and then he buffs, I'm gonna wanna use the absolver. So we're just gonna do this. Kill the Ari, unless he has a twin discipline. But if he does, then we get it out of him, I guess. Nope. Cool, we kill the Ari. Excellent. That is really good. Act natural. I got you. I got you. Alright, we're gonna do the Quinn thing next turn. Oh, 
We Demacians are no easy foe. We Demacians are no easy prey. Alright. Now we're going to attack with these guys. Oh, bang. More attacks. Could have considered sharp sighting it so that we could challenge another unit with it. But I'm glad I didn't. Easy does it. Oh wait, no, that breaks the Warlord's Horde, right? It just bursts. Oh no, it goes down there. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, because the other one broke, duh. Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh, dear. Now we summon a Sandstone Charger. So he blocks her, then he takes 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I shouldn't attack with her. <laughs> we can kill him next turn with the Absolver. Cool. Unfortunately, he could possibly get us too. One, two, sign in. Looking for a daring escape. Okay, I don't think he can kill us now. I don't think it's physically possible. Now we just keep our spell mana. No, yeah, I'll just override that landmark. I'll just override the landmark and it should be enough. I just want units on the field so that when Genevieve drops, she buffs the whole field, making it even less possible for him to stop us. Cool, I bet. Did you like it? I mean, shut, shut up, up and, and fight. fight. Yeah, come on in with your four damage. Strike quickly. And we still got mana for the room. For the absolver. The Go. We'll defend them to the end. Alright, this one looks like it could be a win. Looks very close. Hey! Let's go! We gotta win against the best deck. Vengeance with a smile. <clears throat> Sharp Sight could be good against this deck. I actually think I want to keep it. If he plays Dragon on three, I can swing with the current Vagabond. If he tries to block, I can Sharp Sight it. Will that even be enough damage? No, because he gets plus two, so he'll be at six health. My god, that card is so broken. <coughs> it's only gonna get stronger with Yumi, too. We're not taking it. We're, We're taking, taking it back. Do I just to stop a dragon trigger and a oh no. I'll murder you. Bye-bye, okay. Dragoni. That was a mistake. Don't think that was the right move, my friend. Pantheon right after. That's fine. Greed will turn any man into a monster. Try to kill him next turn with 
summon with the uh, sharp sight. Oh no, I don't have enough mana for that. It's rough. If he plays a dragon, the five mana screeching dragon, and kills the dragon thing, then his pantheon is forfeit. He needs to have. He needs to keep up mana open to to buff his pantheon. Cool, which means. He isn't gonna give it a shield, I don't think, right? So I could actually attack like this. Could give it plus two, plus two. Yeah, no, no, no. There's a good chance she doesn't survive that attack. So we're just gonna kill off some dragon chow. So we're going to do this instead. So now he has to pick between killing her and saving his pantheon. He's going to save his pantheon every time, so... This is a better attack for Quinn. Yeah. What is that, two? Okay. He's not, he's not leveling up anytime soon, so we still have a chance. We leveled this up the current Vagabonds alone. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> what you got for that, big dog? So he's killing both, huh? Alright, that's fine. I have another Quinn. Nothing gets between me and my mark. That one had already seen two attacks, which kinda sucks, but whatever. What can you do? He has a problem spreading out, right? Genevieve kills this. Allows me to kill that. Do I want to make a sandstone charger here? I think I do, actually. With the new cards, will you have a Shivana attacking four times in a row? Which uh, card are you talking about to do that? Oh, the double attack. Yeah, the papercraft dragon plus scout. Yeah, it can get... You can basically instant level her with four attacks in one turn, basically. Um, I think we make the charger here, and then we buff everybody. I'll defend these forests to the end. We will defend them to the end. So we're gonna try and pump out some real damage here. The dragon's roars to get out. Scouting ahead. We do this if he try it kills the valor. Isn't it just better to attack with this as well? Nah, nah. The scout is better. Yeah. The scout's better. He'd probably have a single combat to take out this. He could have a... Sh the worst would be Strafing Strike, right? Because then it would heal her as well and she wouldn't die to Gwenegadeve. But I don't think that's the case. Hey! Two in a row, baby! Nice! Great. Now let's get back out there. I agree. Why are we waiting around? Oh man. Is this the same guy, Arctic Duck? I don't think so. Alright, so I like the shape stone with the action. I don't want this. I probably should have pitched the shape stone too, actually. Oh man, definitely should have. Wow. It's a rough hand. Just got rougher. Wow. 
Two Genevieve's two shapes, though. Gray. I guess we do this to push damage. He's probably playing the dragon next turn. In this turn. I play this, he buffs it, it goes to six. Yeah, that's right. So. Villains beware. Well, what else am I doing with my mana? Am I cool with this just going to spell mana? No, no, no. Let's do this. I've got your back. Kind of what I expected. We got double shape stone if we have to. have to this dragon is just such a pain in the butt i want him gone even chain vest won't save him now. thank god get him out of here Oof. i guess those two shaped stones came in handy Darn. i really wish i could have gotten this card down before then would you look at this place <laughs> they are nothing yeah it doesn't make sense to block you Quick hands make quick work. He might just pass here because he doesn't want to play a unit and have me use my uh, two mana spell to just kill his guy. Oh, oh he's just going to do that. I'm just going to pass. You cannot run from absolution. You could not run from absolution. Get it? Because he uses the absolver. What a shame for you. I pick the one and draw a card. Solver seems pretty good. Dark Sight seems like it could be even better. Could buff my Oxshon to kill his dragon. So could Absolver for two more mana, I would guarantee it. She goes up to five. I could actually kill both of them if he has no combat tricks. The world won't save itself, you know. Is what I make. We'll try to survive. You won't let us, but we'll try. I mean, he's got sh sharp sight and. I had a feeling he was just gonna answer it, but I really wanna get these cards out of him. And he's at like no health, so I can kill him with the Waking Sands. But Shivana's the bigger problem. Shivana is the bigger problem. I do not break rules, I bend them. Slightly. Oh, I can't play Genevieve in there. That was so bad. That was so bad. Why did I just do that? I see the heavens of flame. God's burning in starfire. Sexy. 
And a rally sucks. I don't know if I can do much about a rally. Other than play Genevieve. Okay. <laughs> Two cards cost one less. Nine mana, I have enough for both. So we're gonna do this. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Enough mana for everything but a second Genevieve. <laughs> nope. Go ahead and say no to that. Yeah, you inspect that. Get the Chibata out of here, too. Nice. And he's got another Shivana. Yeah. All he needs is another thing. Oh, that's right, this gives me the Valor back. That's so funny. Man, I could have used a Rally there. That would have been good. If he has another Dragon's Clutch, I don't know if I can win. Find your own. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. He just gets the free kill win. Not Quinn. Try to kill her. Hell Cascade. Every time. Where is my new new? The new car? The new new. I don't know what you're talking about. That right, goes to four. Damn, man. Last to natural May buys me a new sail. Follow my lead. Okay, okay, okay. He's down to his last card, but so am I. He's at one less health. I have a card on board. He doesn't. Dragon Chow makes him probably has another dragon. He's just gonna draw a card. Oh! He's trying to get. He has to try and get in there with the Chow. Oh no, he went for the Pantheon level. I mean, experience. Yeah, that's what he did. Do I keep my unit alive? I don't think I even care. Oh dear. Damn it. I stand this way. A man against all well, if he won the top deck war, he top decked the Pantheon. We did not. Top deck a good card, I mean. We did not top deck a good card. He doesn't have Scout. Or elusive. Oh, well then, yeah, he just kills us here. He just kills us after the fact. Nice. Let's 
just goes with the five, and then he just kills us next turn anyway. We won the top deck war, y'all. He top decked a uh, fucking Pantheon. I wish I top decked something like my third champion. Well, I guess maybe I did get three champions. I don't know. Did two, I think. So I guess I can't complain. I don't know what you mean by your new new. What's the new new? Champion new new? <laughs> Um, none of this looks good. Get it all out of my face. I need it. more early game. Oh yeah, much better. Much, much better, y'all. Oh y'all. Got it. Oh, wait, he has Mystic Shots. I shouldn't have. No. Oh. What's he trying to play? He's trying to play a turn three unit. So I'm just going to open attack. Then I'm going to play this after he plays a turn two unit. Nope, he doesn't? Okay, cool. Now we do this, and he can't develop Lulu here. Oh, 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 wow. Do I let him just get the two for one here? Yeah, I think I want to save this to save Akshan for something. So we're just going to play Akshan here. He might Mystic Shot. We can Shape Stone. So he doesn't have two Mystic Shots. Thermo Beam. That means he probably doesn't have a Mystic Shot. If I had to guess. Slow down, will you? Another static shock would be rough. Kills both of them, and I only get to swing with the three four. But if it doesn't have a unit, I just get to swing for three twice. Three and then five. You won't believe what put these away. Here we go. You die. And then we attack for five. This is justice. Did you feel it? Did you feel the justice? Vi stands for vicious. Ooh, that is the ra. Quick hands make quick work. Justice for free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Greed will turn any man into a monster. That's good. This sucks. I don't want any of this. That's equally horrible. Wow. Some folks up. We made it. Oh, there goes my golden Nagus. Oh, nope. There goes Genevieve. Time to get rowdy. I kill her with a quicksand. Even bother blocking. Whittling down his health as best as we can. You name it, I'll nick it. There's the one two. Just attack punch. out. Stop on me. Takes five. Kill me. Play action. One scoundrel at a time. 
Bills to settle, crooks to kill. You know how it is. You know how it is. I don't need a plan. Eat this! Okay, you're just gonna kill your vi to my option. Sounds fuck. He's taking three to the face. Or is he going to try and make me draw cards right here to maybe get some flash bombs? He'll be really sad if he does because Rangers and Blue will just ruin that plan. Turning yourself in? Okay, bye. Yeah, <sighs> Would you look at this place? Plays another unit, it's just gonna get vulnerable. This guy's playing the new new. Vi, Lulu, Kaylin, and Ezreal all in one deck. The whole party over there. You just gotta go. Gotta go for it. Get him! Yeah! Three wins! Let's go! Hmm. <laughs> Time for darkness, huh? I could use Sharp Sight plus Tracker to kill Vagar, possibly? That'd be interesting. Oh, all my viewers left without saying goodbye. That makes me say it. I thought we were friends. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. I'm just gonna pass. That's not a juicy enough target. To the world below. Sure. Greed will turn any man into, into a monster. monster. Astounding curiosity spy ahead. I get five damage in here and clear out his units. Keep my, hopefully keep my flute feather tracker around. Counter his two mana play with our two mana play. All right, five to fix. I had a feeling you were gonna do that, but. I'm not going to pass there. So if he plays one, I'll play Quinn. If he doesn't, then I play this guy. Okay. I think I just let that happen. Do I? Nah, don't. 
might be able to ping it. Well, Face Pokey Stick. There's lots of ways you can answer this. I just want him to level and have him because I don't can't guarantee I'm gonna get another one. I just want him to start counting, get his other landmark on the field. Uh, so yeah, now we have to ask ourselves: Is this absolver worth it? I think we just have to switch to the Quinn plan. I mean, this will guarantee he levels actually. No, uh, yeah, we got to do this. Because we don't have a guarantee that we're gonna find another one. This guarantees that we're gonna see it. We are what we do. Definitely predict. Another auction seems good. In case this one dies, which is very likely. Righteously reclaiming. My strength is yours. Now we're gonna do this and try to kill his Vager. Or try, because a vengeance stops us. A vengeance stops us cold. Or a mini morph. You can mini morph her. But you gotta do something before she challenges Vagar. Because if you just mini morph her, it won't matter. If you stress defense, it won't matter. Look at them shaking in their boots. Ha! The elements bind the living and the dead. Hold nothing back. Doesn't really matter, right? We're killing this thing. Only does four damage because of the healing, unfortunately. I mean, his darknesses are really strong, so we need to do four damage right now. Yeah. They can't really play a Senna. What would be the point? He wouldn't get a darkness out of it. So. Only I can command darkness. Only I. Okay. Still doesn't do five damage. It will if he attack. It will once he attacks. Pass, buddy. Well, we're still birth boning, burning at least two, so. You make your call here, dude. That's what I was hoping you'd do. Nothing gets between me and my mark. We'll have eight, so we could actually play both of these. Let's we'll see if he tries to remove something here. No? Okay. Pretty decent. We're just gonna the do this. Of the woods. There's nothing like it. It's beautiful, isn't it? One goes down, thousands. Okay, so we didn't play into a ruination. This is four damage, so we'll kill that. These woods belong to us. Just forcing her to use the darkness on this right now. Else he loses his center, so he yeah, has to. Getting dark. We swing for eight. You got a vile feast or something to keep you alive? I mean, I still have this too. He's looking for something out of Trinket Trick. Oh no, because Otterpus, yeah, that's right. That's fine. Take everything. <laughs> no. Sure. Does he prank my golden eggs right here? 
<laughs> you should have pranked my golden agus. Hee <laughs> hee, GG, feels good. Nice. <laughs> oh man. Great. Now let's get back out there. Maybe we'll play a little bit of ranked with uh, a different deck. You know, if you guys want me to play a deck, let me know. I'll play something of yours to kill the time until about 2.30, which is usually when I sign off. Uh, this is so horrible against, a, like, a sweeper. I like the Quinn against ramp. Ugh, just gives it to me anyway. So I can develop and swing for six, and then he kills my whole board. Gently, gently. <laughs> If I did this, my shield is yours. Any avalanches? I still get to do seven damage to him. He wants to ramp, but I need to get damage in his face. Oh wow! He doesn't even ramp. Interesting. Okay. We'll get this count down. I don't need rules to know good from bad. Oh, okay. Sure, yeah. Why not? Go get the shiny dub. Nothing gets Got Rangers resolve. Whatever that's worth. Out pretty good for us. Step Goes to two L. Oh wait a second. Damn, I can't summon one of these. I guess I should have let him die. Oh, weird. Dude's at like no health. Bow to your king. We got it first. Oh, the Absolver's perfect here. Now he can't even, like, uh, kill- he can't sweep them all with a Withering Whale. Nice! Ooh, boy! Uh, just getting wins with the deck.